you ever feel abandoned? Do you ever feel alone? Well, if you don't hear anything else in today's Devo, I just want you to know this. God will never, God will never abandon you. Now, fear will make you think that because fear is, is real and it's unrelenting. And, and when you feel like you've conquered one fear, the thrill of victory is soon replaced by the agony of defeat from another fear. While anxiety visits us all, it is a permanent house guest for some. And, and the question is, isn't, it isn't, will anxiety come? The question is, what will I do with the fear when it arrives? It's going to come. What am I going to do with it? Well, today's passage answers the question. Moses uh, was now 120 years old, and he knew the time had come to let Joshua lead. And up to this point in the journey to the promised land, it had been long and slow and painful, even downright scary at times. Danger surrounded them. Yet Moses knew his successor could handle the assignment. That is, if his successor heeded some godly wisdom. So here's what Moses told Joshua. Be strong and courageous. Don't be afraid. Don't panic. For the Lord your God will go ahead of you. He will neither fail you. He will not abandon you. I want to read that again. Joshua, be strong and courageous. Don't be afraid. Don't panic. For the Lord your God will will personally go ahead of you. He will neither fail you nor abandon you. So I get a question for you, and it's a hard question. Are you, are you willing to give your fears to God and trust that he's going to take care of you? Do you believe God will take care of you? The Lord is omniscient, so he knows everything about the challenges you face. God is omnipotent, so he's all-powerful. He can, he can take care of your situation. Anxiety weighs us down and it wears us out. So give it to God. Let, let him take it. Just say, God, I can't do this. I want to give it to you and replace this fear with your peace. He loves you so much. He doesn't want you to stumble under the weight. He, he will carry it as he walks by your side. He'll take the fear and he'll carry it as he walks with you. He'll never get too far ahead of you. He'll never trail behind you. He'll always be right there with you. And he'll never fail you. And he'll never abandon you. See, with God, we are never alone. We are never abandoned. We are never forsaken. So, Father, I pray for the person who feels alone, feels abandoned. They trusted in you. They, they are a true believer. But today, um, they're going through a hard time. They're anxious about what's going on in the world. Uh, they're anxious about what's going on in our nation. They're, they've got a test coming up or they're waiting on the results of a test. They don't know how a relationship's going to work out. And so, Father, I pray for them. Let them know that they are never alone, that you are with them. And when you're with them, you're always going to fight for them. You'll never abandon them. You'll never leave them. I thank you, Father, for who you are. And because of who you are, we're going to have confidence in you every day. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, so let's look at our passage one more time. So be strong and courageous. This is a challenge for us. Be strong and courageous. Don't be afraid. Don't panic. For the Lord your God will personally go ahead of you. He'll neither fail you nor abandon you. And that's a promise you can live with today. Thanks for joining us as we look at these passages of refuge.